WBC Diamond and Super WBA Bantamweight Champion Nanito Donaire Jr. is two wins away from claiming recognition as the undisputed 118-pound king, a feat that's unprecedented in Philippine boxing history, and the next step is to beat WBO titleist Zolani Tito of South Africa, tentatively in Los Angeles in April. No Filipino has ever gained undisputed status, meaning concurrent recognition as WBA, WBC, IBF and WBO champion in a weight division. Don Air, 36, is already in the record books as the first fighter ever to drop down two weight classes in winning a world championship. The Filipino flash went from featherweight to bantamweight to dethrone WBA title holder Ryan Burnett via fourth round retirement in Glasgow last November. It was Donaire's first rung in the World Boxing Series Series, WBSS, latter to reach undisputed status. Teat, 30, beat Russia's Mikhail Aloyn on points in his first move up the WBSS ladder last October. The winner of the Donaire Teat bout will advance to battle the survivor of the other WBSS pairing between Japan's Naoya Inoue and Puerto Rico's Emmanuel Rodriguez for the undisputed crown. In other previous WBSS encounters, Inoue disposed of the Dominican Republic's Juan Carlos Payano in one round, while Rodriguez outpointed Australia's Jason Molony on a split verdict. Inoue holds the regular version of the WBA title, Don Air is the Super WBA champion, and Rodriguez wears the IBF strap. I think Teed is easier to beat than Burnett, said Don Air. I've studied his style on film. It's not like Burnett who was hard to figure out because of his style. I'm confident of beating Teed and going all the way to become the undisputed bantamweight champion. Former U.S. Olympic boxing coach Kenny Adams, who made his debut in Don Air's corner in Glasgow, will be back with the team for the Teat fight. Don Air said the plan is to stage his fight against Teat and the Inoue Rodriguez bout on the same card at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. It makes sense because right after both fights, WBSS can do a press conference to announce the final between the two winners, he said. Don Air brushed off reports that Burnett suffered a slipped disc which prompted his surrender in their fight. In between the third and fourth rounds, Burnett could be heard on film confiding to his cornerman that he was hit on the waistband and couldn't bring up his right hand. A replay of the action in the third round will show Don Air landing a solid shot to Burnett's body causing his right hand to drop. The body shot did it, said Don Air's wife Rachel. Burnett admitted it before the start of the fourth round. Besides, about a week later, there's a photo on Instagram showing Burnett holding up two girls with both arms. No way someone with a slipped disc can hold up two girls weighing at least 80 pounds each. Don Air said it was easy dropping down to 118 pounds. Right now, I'm walking around at 129, he said. No problem trimming down. It was a smart thing to drop to bantamweight because that division is where no one can match my speed and power.